So I've added a lot of materials, <clears throat> like to the wall, to the ceiling, and to the window. I haven't added any material in our main area because this is kind of like a complicated process and I'm gonna take you through it when I'm doing it. So once you've done that, you will start seeing some amount of light coming out. And if you go to the asset editor, you will also see that by default, there's a rhino sun. So if I turn it on, it'll give me this light. Um, you can change it to any color you want. You want like a orangish light. Um, I would recommend you to use the V-Ray Sun rather than the Rhino Sun because it just has more control over the whole process. I'm going to turn this off and we're going to see how to set a sun. So you go to this Rhino, uh, the V-Ray panel and click on the sun button. Uh, if the sun button is not showing, you can just click on it and you will see the sun. So for this, you should go to manual control so that you can control where the sun's hitting from. So we go to manual control and press OK. OK, now, so the window's right here. So I'm going to set up my sun kind of somewhere like here. And let's see, it's going to face up. And it's going to go up. And let's see where I want it to face. Okay. So I want it to face like right that. And I'm going to open the render mode. And also for the render mode, I would recommend you to open, go to settings, and put on the interactive mode rather than the progressive one. Once you're set up with everything and you've finalized everything, then you should go to progressive, set the quality to high, and let it render. But for <clears throat> the purpose when you're putting on materials and testing things, I would say go to interactive mode. I'm going to go to my camera, double click on my camera, and render this scene right here. So now, um, I can go to the top view and kind of stop this render and I can move the sun kind of set up the angle of these things right also it's possible that your render is not showing like this in a portrait mode if you like this view you'll have to go to the asset editor go to settings and put the aspect ratio to be portrait by default it's generally on widescreen but I kind of like the setup for this particular um, scene because I want the ceiling to be visible, this undulated surface, and I have like less objects displaying here. And once you're satisfied with the way the light is hitting, okay, I think I like that. Once you're done, you're done with that, you can go to this bulb kind of button and you can reduce the intensity of the sun. You can, even, you can even change the color of the sun. Right? <laughs> kind of weird. Okay, now once I'm done with that, once you're done with that, you can come to the next video.